This might look like Unity, but it's not. I'm actually using a 2D engine called Construct to build a 3D farming game, and I didn't write a single line of code to build this. So what am I actually making? So this game's all about harvesting, upgrades, and collecting animals to grow your farm, things like that. And I've been using full 3D models and cameras inside this 2D engine to achieve this. The game loop is simple. You harvest, you gain coins, you upgrade, you repeat, you upgrade again, you unlock animals, skins, all that sort of stuff, and you just keep building up your farm and unlocking new visuals along the way. So there's three main tools I've used to create this game. The first one's Construct, which is the game engine we've been using for this. Blockbench, which is a 3D modeling software. I've used this for the animals and things like that. And then lastly, Adobe Illustrator, which is what I've been using to design and implement uh, the 2D assets, you know, the skins, things like that. So as I just mentioned, all these models are made in Blockbench. I previously made a video on how I do this, and you can go watch that and you can figure out how we actually make these models and implement them into your game engines. So as you can see, I stitched together some simple cubes, I textured them, and then exported them out as a GLB file. I then used a plugin, which I, I went through in the previous video, where it allows you to implement these models into Construct. So this allows you to put additional models, which aren't supported by the engine, into the engine. So this is how I bypassed this and actually got the 3D models into the engine. So the next step was actually to get the models to look alive. So to do this, what I did is I used a bunch of tweens and other tricks to make these hop around the 3D space. So we created a 3D space using a 3D camera. And then from a top down angle, we made it so that the animals will hop around every X seconds. So let's say every X 15 seconds, this animal will tween on its, on its Y axis and its Z axis, and it will bounce around the screen. So to make this game feel more polished, I added a ton of skins, particle effects, an upgrade system, and even though it's a 2D game engine, you can fake a lot of these things with smart layering. So we can add, we can use sprites to create shadows and things like that, and it just brings it all together and adds more depth to this engine. Because without this, it really does look flat. But even just adding simple shadows and things like this using sprites correctly, you can get a 3D looking environment. One thing I ended up doing is I went for a more uh, merged approach where so I combined 3D and 2D to get more of a 2.5D look. So now a lot of my pickups are actually 2D sprites, but they're attached to a 3D object which is called billboarding. So basically it's a, it looks like a 2D image, but it's actually a skewed 3D um, object with just one face visible and then this allows it to, so when the camera's looking down, it's just seeing a sprite but it's not too flat so that you, all you can see is just the top of it. And so now for yourselves, if this is something you find interesting or you actually, you know, you might want to do, you can, this is dead simple and anybody can do this. You just need to start small, go into Blockbench, create one model, simple cubes, things like that. It's actually a great fun once you get into it. And then next, all you gotta do is just download the 3D object, plug in, and you can go from there. As I said before, I have a previous video on this, and if this, this is something you're interested in, I recommend going and watch that video. I go through my whole process on how I actually go from making the model to getting it working in the Construct Engine. I'm also soon going to be doing a part two where I go into more depth on how I got these uh, animals working specifically. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of tips and tricks to actually get your models looking alive and bounced around the screen, uh, doing drops, things like that, so that they're not just stagnant models in your, in your layout. So yeah, if you enjoy this, you're interested in this type of content, do subscribe and let me know. I'll be able to do more content like this. I also have a Discord channel where all we're getting together some different game developers, people are interested in this sort of content, and we can get together and help each other. I'm in there daily as well, so if you have any you know difficulties in construct or implementing this, do let me know, and I'm more than happy to help. So yeah, that's it for this video. Anyways guys, hopefully it turned out alright, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.